Hello friends, welcome back. Do I look tired? I just woke up. I also have ink on my hands because my calligraphy set leaked. So if you see that, don't worry about it. Hello, how are we all? This, I just thought I'd start a vlog right now. I'm not doing anything really interesting. I'm just helping dad. I'm really out of breath, that's kind of sad. I moved you out of his house. Gang's all here. Brody's on his deathbed. Just kidding, he's actually doing pretty well right now. Honey's here, look. <laughs> so it's like a pistol. How are you, darling? It's actually just been announced in Melbourne that we're going into a five day full lockdown, so my work is closed. Um, Um, yeah, so we've got a five-day lockdown. Day one, it's not even going to be really interesting. Um, why? You look haggard. Oh, it's such good quality. Yeah, it is. Okay, y'all, doesn't look like it. Whoa, whoa. Okay, y'all, doesn't look like it, but... What was that moment? <laughs> um, we're back. It took us actually quite a few hours. A lot of heavy lifting, you know how it is. And we got KFC on the way home. I know I said I was vegetarian. I know I said I was vegetarian in my last vlog. Um, but no, it didn't. I was fully vegetarian for two weeks. And then my pee started going really like gray and cloudy and it freaked me out. But I don't want to get a blood test because I have a phobia of veins. Um, so I was just like, okay. Let's stop doing that. <laughs> Dad's way of paying us to help him um, pack his shit was giving us money for KFC. So we got so much. Okay, I didn't <laughs> vlog after we got KFC because I literally didn't do anything that day. Um, I also didn't vlog yesterday because I was at my intimate partner's house. <laughs> In lockdown, you're allowed to see an intimate partner, and I do have one now, so that's weird. I spent the whole day there, and we ate dumplings and drank rosé with his family, and it was good vibes. Um, how weird's that? It's so weird. Um, any hoosies? Now I'm just about to edit, maybe like the next two hours, two and a half hours. And then I'm gonna make lasagna for dinner. I just got him from the sun, which is why my face looks a little bit, a little bit enquire. I'm also recently trying to wear like things that I like kind of like for the last time and then like donating them. This is the last time I'll be wearing this dress. I just have too many clothes and most of them I don't even wear, but like I just don't wanna get rid of because I kind of like them. So I'm wearing everything that I don't really care about keeping for the last time. All right, this vlog is so boring so far. All I've done is talk <laughs> and show you KFC. And right now I'm showing you an onion. Isn't she sexy? Show your ugly cat. All right. She ain't ugly, she's gorgeous. Aw, she actually does look cute. You can't even freaking see her, it's so backlit. Say something. Good. Here's this fat bitch eating Maccas for the second time today. <laughs> <laughs> Maddie got it for breakfast and now, um, it looks like that. someone that would eat. <laughs> Let's cut up onions. I'm gonna rest you on this whiskey glass. Consider yourself lucky. So this is how you do it. <laughs> Got no idea what I'm talking about. Show, show the vlog. Whoa. Slightly terrifying. I'm really bad at cutting up onions, so I might honestly stop filming because I don't want ah, anyone to judge. Mom's just put together this little workout stage. Yes, bitch. Why is it so heavy? I'm actually sweating. Oh, really? I'm stronger than you. That means I have the weakest arms in the world. Squeezy chest. Nothing compared to my guns, baby. Do I? Am I? As you push up, squeeze it. Everybody critique her, critique her form in the comments. <laughs> All right, this shit's going in. I'm gonna do a really, really trendy, cool transition. Oh, she's actually really happy. <laughs> transition, it's too effing hot to take out. Oh, my face. She's out. Look at this sexy bitch. 
This is gonna be really good, honestly. Good morrow. Good morrow, everybody. Oh, good morning. How did you all sleep? I hope you slept really well. I stayed up late last night watching Zverev and Djokovic play the tennis, so... I look a little bit like shit. But it was worth it because it was a really good game. Hey, Matt. Doing some yoga? I need to water the lawn. <gasps> Were you just going outside on the porch, you cheeky bitch? I needed to show you guys. I planted this lawn, fertilized it, all that good shit. Mum helped. Well, Mum and I did it together, but <laughs> let's pretend that I did it all. <laughs> Hello. I'm sorry, every morning I water my lawn. Yeah, I do this every morning and I, I'm i just very, I'm very protective over my lawn. So I finally understand what people mean. All the old people in movies when they were like, get off my lawn. Because so true. Get the F off my lawn. If you ever step on it, I'll kill you. All right, I'm going to have an omelette for breakfast. And I'm going to make it in the shape of a dick because I'm feeling it this morning. I actually don't really know how I'm going to do this. I'm pretty sure it's for fried eggs, but YOLO. This isn't going to work. I can just feel it. Oh no. Oh no. Oh! I don't know if I should keep trying or if I should just cut my losses. How good does my dick look? Okay, I've been trying to upload a video but our internet isn't freaking working so do you know why it's yeah it's not working i even tried to hotspot on my phone and it's not working i need to send a video off for approval today and it's not effing working anyways i'm going to go out and lay in the sun for a little bit and read this is the book i'm reading at the moment my boy lent it to me isn't that just goals face like jess i thought you'd like this book Anyway, so I'm reading this. It's actually really good. I really, really like it. It's probably one of my favorite books that I've read. And I'll do something else while I'm out there. And then I'll come in and edit. I don't know why I said I'll do something else when I'm out there. Like, what am I talking about? Do what? Our lockdown was going to be extended. Well, there was like talk of it being extended, but like nobody really knew if it was going to be or not. But it's not. I'm like 95% sure that it's not being extended, which means it's finished tonight at 11.59 p.m. So I'm pretty happy about that. And it's all good vibes all around. We're having a barbecue for dinner. I'm gonna edit a video when I come back inside. I'm very excited, just getting into the swing of life. Mum's taking up my tanning position right now, literally right in the middle of it. So rude. She doesn't even know I'm talking shit about her. Look at her smile. Mum's prepared this gorgeous potato salad. Um, rude. Show us your makeup. Show me your makeup. <laughs> Why is this such a spread? Dad just moved houses, as you guys would know, because oh, oh. Would they? Yeah, because I vlogged the day we helped him. I've just looked on several YouTube channels. Babs. Nasty poo. Um, and he didn't have anywhere. Put this table and chairs that we're sitting on. Don't do that at just, home, girls. Just thought I'd speed that down. <laughs> My teeth are already cooked anyway. What's that? <laughs> um, and dad didn't have anywhere to put this table, so now we have it, and it's a bit of a fat vibe. Isn't it, girls? Um, Hello. We're watching the tennis. What's this called? The semis or is this the quarters? The quarters. I love this. Oh, oh, that could have been so good, couldn't it? my sound on camera. Oh, are you so embarrassed? Don't put it in. No. <laughs> um, I'm such a horrible vlogger. I haven't vlogged in like a month, so I just like don't know how to do it. <laughs> Tomorrow I am hanging out with my boy. Um, we're going to the beach and like I can't film because that would be weird. Um, and then we're going to trivia with my cousin Corey. Um, which I also can't film, but I will film me getting, I'll just film whatever I can. 
but right now I'm just gonna sit down and read and watch the tennis. Have you guys been watching the tennis? It's been a weird year. <gasps> what? What are you all just doing here? No, they have. I literally fed them like an hour ago. So fat, Scott. You're so big and fat. All right, friends. It is the next day. I didn't end up going to the beach today because like something came up and I had to work anyway. Um, but I got so much editing done today. I have been trying to like film and edit as much as I can when I have time so that like I have accumulated like a good head start for when I'm trying to be like more consistent so that I don't fall behind and it's going pretty well so far I've got like two videos edited and two others filmed um but right now I'm just about to get ready to go to my guy's house my guy how stupid does that sound and then we're going to my cousin Corey's house and then we're going to trivia we lost trivia last week so I don't have high hopes for this week Actually, we didn't lose. We came second last, which isn't as bad. <laughs> but yeah, what should we talk about? I got so much new makeup from Colourpop, so it's a pretty exciting time to be me. Also, please don't talk about how this foundation is not at all my colour. I mean, you can if you want to, but I already know. I know, and I'm so embarrassed about it. <laughs> but yeah, there's certain things that I'm very happy about in my life right now. I'm seeing somebody and I didn't think that I could do that because I didn't know if I was capable of having feelings for people but here we are. Usually I just like fixate on someone and like I'm not even really sure why I like them, I just do and I'm somewhat like obsessed with them and can't really do anything. Like my brain genuinely can't focus on having a crush on somebody and just being a normal functioning human being. Um, but it hasn't really been like that this time and it's so freaking weird it was a bit for like the first week i was very fixated on it but like now i'm not but i still have so many feels like i still have so so many feelings um but i'm not like fixated on it like I, i'm so capable of doing work and doing like youtube work and hanging out with friends and just thinking thoughts that aren't consumed by other people and it's so exciting for me I'm rambling I feel like no one's gonna be listening to this but it feels good to speak I haven't done a video diary in so long I usually do like video diaries on my computer because I can't be bothered writing <laughs> um, and I haven't done one in months and I also haven't been filming that much recently oh shitty bum so this is very therapeutic for me right now I could actually go to therapy, but how's your guys' 2021s going so far? It's really the same as last year, isn't it? We all were like thinking it was going to be some life-changing year, but it's really just more of the same. Love to see it. I can't get over this foundation color. Every time I put my makeup on, I'm like, holy shit, this is such an issue. Okay, I took a small break to catch up on my makeup, but I thought... I'm feeling really chatty and honest right now and I feel like I talk so much about mental health so I thought I might as well just bear my all so that we can talk about something else after this for once. Um, trigger warning if you have like any suicidal thoughts or if you're feeling um, depressed or any of that sort of stuff. Um, well first off I'm going to spray my face with this MAC Fix box. <laughs> it's in the scent passion and it smells really freaking good but anyway i'm just really i don't know how to start talking about that actually last year i had a few moments where i just like was a bit wanting to not be alive anymore we'll say it that way um i didn't necessarily want to die i just didn't know how to be alive and so this is so dramatic for like doing my makeup i feel so uncomfortable and vulnerable right now but and i wouldn't say there's a specific reason but a main reason was that i felt like i didn't really have anybody outside of my immediate family like the people that live in this home and so i placed like all of my personal value in my home and the people that I surround myself with every day in the house. And so if something happens in the home, I'm left with like feeling like someone's just pulled the rug onto me and I have nowhere to go after that. Um, and that's usually when those thoughts would like creep in and I'd be like, oh my God, I have nobody else. Like 
what am I supposed to do? Why am I even here? Like, how do I go on? And so this year it was like a big thing for me to make sure that I put myself out there and like make efforts to be friends with people and to connect with people um, outside of my immediate home because I love my family so much, but I feel like I created kind of a toxic relationship with them because I didn't shut up. This song is not the right vibe. This is Justin Timberlake, Senorita. <laughs> because I placed all of my value in my relationships with them and the way that they treated me, like unbeknownst to them, if they spoke a rude way to me or if we didn't have a good relationship, I just didn't know how to handle myself because I had nobody else to talk to. And so, um, yeah, it's been really important to me this year to make sure that I speak to other people. So I've been trying to become closer with my cousins. Um, but not only my cousins and my family, like, friends, like, girlfriends. I've got, like, a few, like, different groups of girlfriends now that I feel like I could, like, reach out to. So, I don't know, it's really improved my quality of life, I guess, in the way that I see myself, which is kind of, I don't know if that's superficial, like, I felt like I worked so much on myself but not exterior-wise. Like, I didn't look outside it with my relationships with people. It was more so my relationship with myself. And I kind of got that down pat, but then I was missing out on, like, interactions with others. Um, so, yeah, I kind of just want to share that with you guys because I think it's really important to just be honest with people. Um, some people don't understand mental health a lot, but people do as well and people want to care and people want to make sure that you feel happy even if you think that they wouldn't care a lot of people would and not everybody's the same as well like yeah just if you're feeling the same way I would just really suggest like just putting yourself out there and sometimes it will backfire um, but sometimes it will really help and then next thing you know you'll have a good group of friends and you'll have other people to talk to and you won't put your sole value in a single source of I don't know what I'm talking about <laughs> but yeah I don't know that's uh, I guess that's kind of why I've been a little bit distracted from my YouTube channel is because I've been focusing so much attention on sing it JT um, I've been focusing so much attention on other people and my relationships with them and trying to maintain them and build them and all that sort of jazzy shit so yeah also I'm gonna leave if you guys are feeling down or depressed or anxious, all that sort of stuff. I'm gonna leave some links in the description box because there are people who wanna help. Yeah, that's the last time I'm gonna talk about mental health for a while because I'm trying to like work on it and just get out of it. I'm gonna do my eyebrows now. <laughs> Segue into my eyebrows. I used this blush. I got it from um, Colourpop and I freaking love it. It's like a corally type color. How gorgeous is it? And for my eyebrows, Sometimes, well lately I've been doing this, I've been like spraying this Pears like soap bar that Annie gave me with my MAC Fix Plus and then getting like a spoolie for my eyebrows and brushing them upwards and then going through with a brow powder and then like cutting the edges because I have like really sparse hair on the edges so I've kind of just been cutting them off with concealer and it's been looking real good but I'm going to try something new today. So my sister Maddie gave me this Aero Perez brow hero mascara shit for your eyebrows it's got like a little bit of tint in it and it brushes them up and keeps them there so let's try that okay forever just going too hard with the makeup like i'm going to freaking trivia night i've done eyeliner what's wrong with me i'm also outfit repeating this outfit for like i think this is the fourth time usually i am like an advocate for not outfit repeating but this is just a sexy outfit, so I want to get as much use as I can. Plus, this top is, like, broken. This thing just, like, stabs me. And it's also happened, like, here. So it just stabs, stabs my sternum all night. So I'm just, this is probably going to be the last time I wear this. Um, so yeah. My brows, I look like Wolverine. Cause we're lying on the couch, the I see yeah, I actually like how my eyebrows turned out. I just think it's just a bit too hard for trivia night. <laughs> but yeah, I feel like it was easier to like do and they just look more natural than when I do the soap brows. So I'm into it. Also, this lipstick is like Dance Fever. Dance Fever by NARS. And then just um like Carmex 
Oh, any hoosies. <sighs> I better go. Hello, good morning. Um, it's been a few days since I've vlogged last. I feel like this. Oh my god, my cat is bugging out. What are you doing? This vlog is really bad. Um, it will make it better. It'll make it better only if you do something really oh my, wacky. Oh my. <laughs> yeah, I just don't know how to vlog anymore and my life is really boring. But like when it's not boring, I'm with the guy I'm seeing. So like I can't vlog that. Oh, uh, did you know I have a boyfriend now? Yeah, you wouldn't read about it, baby. Why would I show Courtney? That's stupid. Show Courtney. Why would I show? Um, right now I'm waiting for dad to pick uh, me and Annie up and we're gonna go out for breakfast and then we're gonna help him like do the finishing touches in his new apartment I think. Um, he's exploiting us because we were supposed to have like a chat, like a catch up and he's like, yeah, yeah, I'll Annie, pick you up. up. I'll pick you up and then take you back to mine and then you can help me unpack my stuff and we'll talk while we're there. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, did you know I have a boyfriend now? So, don't talk to me. Don't talk to me. Hello. Well, don't say it. Look at this gorgeous bitch. Yeah. Yeah, get them shots. Oh, my yours. Yours looks so good. Beauty. Yes, them close ups. Hello. I am finishing this vlog now. As you can tell, I didn't film anything for the rest of the day. Oh, I love myself. Anywho, this vlog was probably just so all over the place. Pimples. Um, but then we'll. Try and make the next one more cohesive, hey? Okay, bye. Thank you for watching. Peace out. Peace and love. Be safe in these streets. Bye.